Hello and welcome to this week's edition of Live Local and Loud with me, Kevin Gorn. This week's show, Lee from Prime UK Band will be chatting to Mitch from local punk rockers Jules, who were voted BBC Radio 1's Ones to Watch in 2021. We'll also have plenty of homegrown music by local bands. First up on today's show, we're going to have a blast from Leicester's past uh, from the 70s. Here's the iconic prog rock band Gypsy and Brand New Car. from the 70s that was gypsy and brand new car now for something a little bit more up to date here's the lovely sultry vocals of nancy dawkins and it seems i'm falling what I need I'll 
the lovely vocals of Nancy Dawkins and It Seems I'm Falling. Love her voice. Okay, so now we're going to have a little bit of indie rock from uh, from Leicester's past. Well, about three or four years ago, I think these, these guys disbanded, although they still seem to put uh, random comments on their Facebook page. Here's Neon Sarcastic and Codename Disaster. Fuses are burning
Neon Sarcastic and Codename Disaster. Unfortunately, Neon Sarcastic, I think, disbanded around 2017, something like that. Great band to see live, though, so a bit of a shame. However, they are still keeping things flickering away on their Facebook page, so perhaps they may return. Who knows? Now bringing it right up to date now, uh, and inspired, in fact, by, um, I think it was lockdown number one, I remember chatting to them about. Uh, Here is New Age Grace and Climbing the Walls. I'm not sure how it started, pinpoint when I lost my mind. Searching for something I can't find. Darkness holds me tightly Comes a raging storm inside Leaves me feeling nothing I can't
That was New Age Grace from the debut uh, EP of the same name, Climbing the Walls. Now it's time for this week's interview where Lee from Prime UK Band chats to Mitch from uh, local indie punk rockers Jules, who are currently BBC Radio 1's Band to Watch for 2021. They've been played in Brazil and Las Vegas as well as here on BBC Radio and Kerrang! Radio as well. Um, So uh, before we have the interview, here's one of their uh, curiously named songs. How can some experience pride without liberation for all? local and loud i'm lee here from prime uk band today i am with uh, mitch from jules and how are you today fella yeah yeah i'm all right lee how are you doing pretty good thank you very much and uh, that was your track how can some experience what pride is without liberation for all so uh you can thank me now for pronouncing it right <laughs> yeah you've smashed it you've done better than most that's it i thought we'll start with a tongue twister and uh, and get there so how's, how's the um reactions i've obviously you've had a really good reaction to your material so far haven't you and um you're in talks at the moment to talking with some nice labels and stuff like that and and got some tracks lined up for a release but just waiting to get the right offers how's that all it seems to have been a quite a quick quick learning curve for you and a quick 
quick rise for you. How are you finding it all? Is it getting a bit much or are you finding things easy to keep on top of? So we're keeping on top of it. We were sort of prepared um, for this moment. You know, it's something that you build up in your head, getting like uh, good press and radio play on Radio 1 and that. So we were ready for it. Um, but, you know, when it does arrive, it's quite overwhelming and, you know, you have these little dreams come true. Um, so it's been fun. Um, it's really helped as well during the pandemic, you know. So we put it out in September and we were still in the height of, you know, everything that's going on. So it's really kept us busy and tied us over, which we've been really grateful for. So it's been a, it's been a good ride. It's been a good ride. So, um, are you all are you all doing like were you all doing different jobs or different things when you were when you first got you know when all this first started kicking off with the good radio play and things like that? Yeah, so um, four of us are at uni, uh, me being one of them. Um, so we're still studying. Um, Tom, our guitarist, he works in a school. I work in a school while I'm not at uni. So we were pretty much like you know just doing doing normal stuff and then you go into work on monday and people are saying oh congrats on the radio one playing it's a little bit surreal it was good times. so yeah we've had to um ease off the work front a little bit and we're sort of going for it now with the band i guess so at least you've got that kind of stuff where you you you're from home and you can probably take a pause from that and concentrate on the music stuff a bit better than probably what you would have been if you'd have been stuck in a factory or something like that yeah Defo. And you know, with, with like uh, working in schools and that and still being at uni, it's actually quite inspiring too. Um, you know, it gives you like a nice foundation to go and write a song or you realise to be grateful for certain things. So it's, it's been cool to do alongside the band. Definitely. Well, we're going to play a track now. But you've got some great titles here, by the way. Um, we've got one for cross, <laughs> no, uh, cross Dressing in a Freudian Slip. And um, we're going to play that now and then we'll talk about your plans touch wood that are going to come into to pass in 2021.
That was cross-dressing in a Freudian slip by my guest Jules and I'm um, with Mitch from the band today and um, so we think Touchwood you've got a gig which is quite close to Leicester in on the 24th of April that's going to be the Castle and Falcon in Birmingham with the Head Shrinkers so we're yeah hoping that's going to go ahead yeah we're looking forward to that I mean we've had a couple of shows that we've had to pull already this year so um it's in the back of our mind that it might not go ahead uh, for good reason, of course. But if it does, um, we're really looking forward to it, actually. I think it'll be exciting. And Birmingham's a great city, too. So it's always nice to play there. Got quite a good history musically. And Castle and Falcon is a really good venue, too. Have you, uh, have you done much there already, then, in, in terms of gigs in Birmingham? You, you know, not with Jules. Um, the, as a band, we've actually never played Birmingham. But in our old bands, and, you know, when we were part of other... Um, part of other bands we've played in Birmingham and it's always been always been really fun um yeah great sitter so I hope it goes ahead Head Shrinkers are a great band too so you know it's always nice to play alongside bands that you really support as well nice one excellent where are they from they're from Birmingham yeah local band so I think it's nearly sold out you know um so I think they're I think they're quite popular from from what I gather so it's a quick bus ride for for everybody from Leicester to, to have a nice trip out and uh, and see that one anyway. Touchwood. Yeah, that's what's, it. What's uh, what's the normal capacity? And obviously, are they? I presume they're having to like cut the capacity with what's happening then. Yeah, I think Castle and Falcon usual capacity is quite similar to the Cookie in Leicester. So I think you're talking about 200 max. Maybe you can squeeze a few more in actually. Um, but capacity for this is around the hundred mark, um, and you can't buy tickets individually you have to buy them like as a table because you'll be seated which is going to be odd for us to be honest we're used to you know quite an intimate crowd that are pretty much on the stage so we've got um a track we're going to play now called spineless and then i'm going to talk about your current recordings and the situation uh, with that this is spineless by jules <laughs> Oh, you like to be a tiger, I'm a tiger 
I'm Lee Hare from Prime UK Band. I'm here today with my guest Mitch from Jules, and that track was called Spineless. Um, so you've obviously had a lot of interest very quickly from some good labels and, and good interest. I presume you won't want to like, talk too much about just in terms of who they are and things like that, but um, you've obviously got some recordings on the table that you you said you were uh, managed to get done in the winter time what's the plan with those then what's what's happening at the moment yeah so we uh we we traveled to castleford in uh the start of december to record with bob cooper our producer um thankfully got to put two tracks down and um since the success of how can some experience pride um i don't even say the full thing myself look um since the success of that we've we've had a bit of label interest so it's a case of hitting labels with these songs um waiting for that right offer and then we'll be hoping to release them then so it's not frustrating because we're grateful to be in this situation of course but we're itching to put the music out so having to wait for that right deal um it takes a lot of patience which i don't have any of um <laughs> thankfully thankfully the other five do so they help me rein it in a little they're like holding you back like like some kind of some kind of fight and yeah i'd put it out now i'd get it out there now but yeah they've got wiser heads than me well maybe at the next gig can maybe some some youtube videos can sneak out there somehow and so people can have a quick sneaky listen to what yeah you maybe and you know what as well at, um at, at the uh, castle and falcon show we'd play the songs so you know we can play them live which is nice so people can hear them Hear them if they come to that show. That's yeah, a clever right. way of plugging it, isn't it? I'll definitely get them, uh, get them out there if they want to hear what you've got coming up. Uh, could you just tell me a bit more about your social media then, where people can check out what you've, what you've got coming up? Yeah, sure. So on Instagram and Twitter, it is both at Jules Band Jules, um, which still really annoys me to be honest. Like Jules was taken. Like Jules Holland has about seven thousand accounts, so. It had to be Jules Van Jules, so that's on Twitter and Instagram. And then on Facebook, um, if you search Jules, we actually do come up in the midst of all the Jules Holland stuff, so a little bit easier. <laughs> I'm exactly the same with my band Prime. When I picked that name, I was like, a bit later on, I'm like, oh God, why did I pick this name? It's, it's, it's like a minefield, you know what I mean? Yeah, you're battling with restaurants and all sorts. <laughs> Everything, beef. beef. Yeah, beef. yeah. You know, and we even got the beef stamp logo on our uh, on our logo for so we were asking for it really but thank you very much for talking to us today mitch and uh, i wish you the very best with the upcoming shows you've also got um a festival date that looks likely at the farm fest as well what uh, have you got a date for that one yeah i think it's the 30th of july um we're actually really excited for that there's some great bands playing so you know fingers crossed it goes ahead and we can make our way down south i can't remember where it is it's yeah, like far. Um, somerset somerset way and you got yeah yeah max de Giri on there is just fantastic isn't it and some other yeah really great line up well i touch wood for you that everything goes ahead and and that your your patience will be rewarded with with your upcoming releases as well and that, that you get the best possible people to get them out there for you i hope so mate thanks lee have a good one. All, all the best, fella. You too. Take care. Thanks for having me. Sounds like some big things are going down for them. So that was um, Lee from Prime UK Band chatting to Mitch from local punk rockers Jules. Okay, so keeping the tempo up now, here's Oceans Apart and Karma.
Oceans Apart and Karma. Fantastic little band. I've seen them around many, many times. Uh, they've just released their new song, actually, called Liar. So if you want to have a look at their Facebook page, there's a, a nifty little a YouTube video of it. So that's Oceans Apart and that was Karma. Now, keeping it rocked up for a bit, here's another great little band that are fantastic to see live. Can't wait to see these guys uh, when we're allowed to after lockdown, which hopefully... Um, as Boris says, will be no earlier than, but hopefully June around, I think it's mid-June-ish, about 20th, where uh, the whole uh, country, 21st, the whole country should be back to normal, hopefully, or at least no earlier than the 21st. Anyway, so here's our city fires, live a lot.
that was Our City Fires and Live A Lot. I'm talking about great live bands. Um, we're now going to play Robson, a band that I've seen a few times. Um, they, uh, they've got something really big going on behind the scenes at the moment. Uh, so I can't wait to, to see what that's all about. Back um, Hopefully when we get unlocked in June. Here's Robson and Bev Nose. and Bev knows. Um, of course we chatted to Asa from Robson a couple of months ago so if you'd like to hear that interview again check out musicandlester.co.uk uh, and on the right hand side you'll see um, a little section there where it's got our podcast from previous shows. And finishing off today's show here's another one uh, that's great to see live. Uh, we spoke to Steve from Scam a couple of, ooh, was it weeks ago? Yeah, at the beginning of the year, actually. That's our first show in, in, um, in 2021. Um, so here's Scam and fe- One Track Mind featuring Paul Mahon from Answer. <laughs> It's 
hate to cut it off during that amazing guitar solo there. Uh, that was Steve from Scam and Paul Mahon from Answer having a guitar duel. Fantastic stuff. Anyway, unfortunately, that's all we've got time for here today on Live, Local and Loud. I do hope you've enjoyed today's show. Don't forget to find more about our local musicians. You can do worse than to check out www.musicinleicester.co.uk and you'll have all the podcasts from previous live local and louds on there as well. So I'll see you 5 o'clock next Thursday on Hermitage FM. Do have a good week, stay away from any nasty viruses and look after yourselves. Music